as you can see, this is going to be part two because there's so much to cover. But Roger, Ian, and Bree, um, and baby Jemmy end up at the stones. And this is moments before um, they hit the stones and travel. Ian even touches the stones after Bree, Roger, and baby Jem go through, still hoping that he can travel through, but it does not work. The reason that Ian was selected to go along with them is it would have been way too hard for Claire and for Jamie to see them go. It would be hard for Bree and Roger, as well as, obviously, for baby Jemmy and for her parents. So, of course, just for the sake of safety and love um, and sacrifice, Claire and Jamie are, you know, saddened by the fact that these two and their, and their grandchild are gone, but they know that it's for the best. And right now they're in the cabin where Bree, that Bree and Roger owned. Something else to know is that Roger gave all of his land to Ian. So Ian now owns Roger's land. So each one of them have a stone in hand and they're going to touch the stones and go through. So here we see Ian touch the stones, but of course he can't travel through. Sadness, disappointment. So Roger, Bree, and baby Jemmy have arrived somewhere. Now, are they where they wanted to be? That's a question. What do you think? Leave a comment down below as to where you think they are. Now, this is a look of a surprise when they realize where they are, but also when baby Jemmy gets up and he looks and smiles and runs in the direction of something that seems to be familiar. What is it? So Fergus's son tells him that uh, Marcelie, his mom, is laying on the floor not moving and the bad men took Granny, meaning they took um, Claire. They also killed one of the patients that Marceline and Claire were treating. These people, the bad people, are the Browns, the Brown brothers that we talked about at the beginning of the ep episode. So what's going to happen is that's when the kilts will come out again. That is when Ian is going to put that paint, war paint, on his face. They want a war. They're going to get one because obviously nobody messes with a Fraser, Murray, or Mackenzie or others that are, you know, under the umbrella of these folks. So once again, Jamie has to call the men of the ridge by lighting the fiery cross. That's how this season began, if you recall. The fiery cross. <laughs> 